Hello everyone. Like me, I assume you're not working. So this list is with that in mind. And it's also a short video, so please stay with me. Like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the routine. Now there's no particular order on these numbers, so we'll just start off with uh, number one. Did you apply for unemployment? There's your normal amount, which won't be enough. But the federal government has also added their stimulus payment with that, which could last through July. And with COVID being around, you might not even have to go out and look for work. It's the easiest way to keep your head above water. And number two, call your creditors. They may defer or put on hold payments that you can't make right now. Don't stop paying rent unless you can negotiate that. But with your other creditors, they may be willing to take partial payments. One of my creditors gave me an interest-free ride for 90 days. Number three, cancel all unnecessary expenses. Look at what you pay every month. Create a spreadsheet if you can. Otherwise, just write down all your expenses. It might surprise you. Cancel what you don't need and see what you can do with the rest. If you have a cell phone, for instance, call your provider and tell them it's too expensive and that you're considering canceling it. I bet they come up with a cheaper plan. But they would never call you with that plan, so you have to call them. Number four, shop for food on a budget now. This may require you that you change your normal diet. Stay healthy if you can, but ramen may be on the menu from now on. Make a lot of cold meals. This will save your stove. Cut down on the heat and cut down on how much it costs to cool the place down after you heat it up for cooking. Number five, get your bike out. You can save on gas, but be sure to fill your tank up and park the car, keeping in mind you're gonna want it ready when you wanna go out there and get in it. So check the tires, start it up from time to time, and just make sure it's ready. Number six, meet your neighbors. If you're in a big city, you don't always do this, but you know, it's a chance for you to get out and say hello. Uh, they may be going out for some reason and they could get you something while they're out and you could do the same for them. You can also get together at their place or your place and watch a movie, watch a game if we get them back on. It's something that you can do that you probably should already be doing. Number seven, talk about watching something on TV. YouTube is free, at least the non-subscription side. Don't watch too much news though. You can also get a digital antenna. And they cost 20 to 30 bucks and you can offset that by cutting back on your cable. And there are tons of content there from TV to movie to travel shows. And I especially like watching the travel shows since I can't get out and travel right now. Number eight, turn up your thermostat in the summer and reverse it in the winter. Turn it up by at least 10 degrees. Uh, you get used to it. Um, although I find I can't sleep if it's too hot, so I turn it down about an hour before I go to bed and then back up right when I go to bed. We talked about the bike. Well, you can also get out and take walks. I go out all the time, at least twice a day, and go for a walk around my complex. It helps me to clear my head. You know, keep your distance but you're not gonna get COVID from trees. And the cure will be uh, really good for you, make you feel better. <laughs> Watch for snakes though. And some parks have already opened up. I know that uh, locally I have some national and state parks that have opened up and I've already been to a couple of them. I even have one of my videos that I was able to get out on. And number 10, use Zoom or Skype to visit with your friends or even go to church. Now my church has a Zoom Bible study in the morning on Sunday, and then they go with a live broadcast for their main service. They are open and a lot of people can go, but I'm in the over 65 group, so I've decided to stay away from large groups until I absolutely need to. And there's a number of Zoom conventions coming up this year. Uh, if you couldn't go to like Dragon Con, I don't know if it's gonna make it, but a lot of them in Florida, MegaCon and other ones have canceled. We've had a mini one for one of our Star Trek groups, and I know there's another one coming up. So just look for those. Uh, find them online and uh, 
It's not as much fun as being there, but it's better than not doing anything. So Zoom, Skype, FaceTime are the, are the common apps that you can use, but there are other ways, other ways that you can do this. And frankly, they're a way to keep track with your relatives that you normally wouldn't do. So these are 10 things you can do. Try them out if you're not already doing it. We'll get through this together. So for now, goodbye and God bless.